This is your co-main event, five rounds! <laughs> At the end of the day, that's what we strive for, is to be the best in the world and compete against the best in the world. All to the fans, guys. I told you, sir, that I will succeed no matter what. And here I am. I did it. And still! As you can see, we train with a strong man of our own time. Two bastards, you pumbo. Of course, someone is gonna get smashed. Five rounds. It's gonna be five rounds. Then I finish him the last round because I want to punish him so bad. Five rounds of punishment. I will squeeze your neck you know, and neck and squeeze. When you're about to tap, then I let go. Uh, the camp for Nicholas Swende has been incredible. We've been working on a lot of different skill sets in order to not just win this fight, but show how great he actually is. And the fight is going to be absolute fire. Uh, I expect Nick to showcase all his new skill he's been building throughout his camp. And having a training partner like Sylvester, obviously he's a former champion as well, and they work extremely hard. So. Just the fire these two boys are bringing at the moment, I'm super excited to see Nicolas fight. And I think it's gonna open a lot of doors for him after. Ladies and gentlemen, this is EFC 101. Hey now! Five rounds in the EFC Final Way Championship. The lady, she said it. Undisputed EFC for the world. Nicholas Wendy. Oh my God! <laughs> we are brothers in arms, eh? And for as long as we're still here, we're going to take over this place. You know what I'm saying? Bad news, Musa. Yeah, I got injured. Well, the fight camp was good. It was coming all right. I was ready for, for Wende. I was ready to, to upset him and take the title. Obviously, I was going to take the title, but then, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, you can expect fireworks, eh? You can expect that I'm going to take another title. I'm going to take the fourth title into BIA. But by all means necessary, the title is mine. But lucky that I'm, 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 I got injured, so it's just a delay. You know, it's just stalling a bit, giving him time to, you know, shine with my belt. But hey, I'm coming for it. Uh, Musa's camp was going very well, to be honest with you. We started this camp from, I think it was last week of December. These two weeks before the fight, we were just going light. So it happened that Tuesday we were doing wrestling drills, wrestling drills. So you know, this is a a spot of injuries. So he fell, he fell on top, on top of his ankle, then that's where everything started, you know. So he got injured from there. He's gonna be out for six weeks. It's a ligament tore on the ankle. First grade 10. Definitely, whoever be wins between uh, Nicholas or the opponent is gonna get, then we are, yes, we're still back on track. Uh, Nicholas' brother, all I can say to you, man, sorry about that. We know we were looking forward to fight Mosa. Made the best men win. Shocking people is what I do best. Eh? Shocking the world is what I do best. I'm still gonna shock the world. Take the title from you, Nick. You've got nothing for me. Hey, my man, Zico's camp. I'm confident. Sometimes when I come to the gym, I don't feel like training Zico. You know, Zico has been ready. He's super fit. 
you know, if, if you are working with a fighter that he's disciplined, he's hungry, he's always consistent at training, it makes your job as a coach easy, you know what I mean? So you don't stress too much because you know this guy is hungry more. So I'm confident, super confident. We bring in the belt at Baggett Brothers in Arms. And Makumi is not the person to come and stop Zico for winning this belt. To be a champ, you have to defend the belt. That's why we are eager to defend this belt. We know Makumi is good on the ground. He's, a, he's an all-rounder fighter, but he's not better than Zico. He's not on Zico's level. As I said, Makumi has been there. He went abroad, he fought, he lost. He came and uh, he wants to fight Zico, of which we don't take it as a bad thing. We still have to prove who we are. And come April, we're going to prove that Brothers in Arms is the best. What is he expecting from Brothers in Arms? That's the question. So my advice to CIT, they mustn't take Brothers in Arms for granted. We are not who they think we are. They haven't seen nothing from Zico. We've proven to Martin van Staden. Then we're going to still shock the world again. We're taking the belt back to Brothers in Arms. And we are not only fighting McHugh, we are fighting CIT, of which... Yeah, I'm just prepared, they always, like I always prepare. I'm an MMA fighter complete. I have gun, I have stand-up, everything is good. I'm prepared, they, like I always prepare. I will make sure I will finish him. I will finish him, anything is going to happen there, like I always say. You saw his last fight, whenever he won the belt, he was emotional, my man. You know, a boy that comes from Congo, we all know what's happening in Congo. He showed that he's hungry and it's going to mean a lot as well for us, brothers in arms, for the world, for Africa as a whole. Uh, Makum, you know what's coming for you, brother. The gorilla is coming for you. See you April, my man. Stay focused, stay ready. God bless, Papa. On Sanjo Black Sam. Three and oh, ten and oh, hundred and oh, doesn't mean shit until you come and fight for it every night. This training camp has been absolutely phenomenal. It's been a blessing to be in camp with Rikas as he's preparing for his next fight at UFC 285. We've been slaying it on the mat and I feel this is the best shape I've ever been in. And I'm truly excited for this opportunity to claim that UFC welterweight title. I cannot explain to you. The joy is overflowing in my veins. It's been so long. It's been long since I fought here in South Africa. And I think the 13th of April is going to be truly a memorable evening. Mark's been the CIT now for a couple of years and the guy that walked into this gym and the guy that he is now, two different fighters and he was a scary guy who walked into this gym and you don't want to know who he is now that he's, he's been training with a, with, a, with a savage team like CIT. He's putting in the work, he's one of the hardest workers in the room and it's an actually privilege to train with him and, and learn from him. Nothing compares to CIT, nothing compares to the training we receive here. His grappling is, as everybody knows, world class and there's no, not a lot of people, if any, uh, in the promotion that could ever hang with Mark on the floor. And now with his stand-up looking absolutely incredibly dangerous, uh, I think uh, this will probably be the best Mark you have ever seen to date. You know, like a phoenix, it burns first into ashes and then it rises to its full glory. And the 13th of April, I believe you will see the rise of Mark Alexander Hume, starting with the welterweight title and then building up from there. I mean, my fight is in, in a couple of weeks and we're flying out to, to Vegas for what, probably one of the biggest cards of the year, UFC 285, the return of the great John Jones. And I'll be on the main card for that fight, which is absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to go and uh, prove what South Africa has to offer. Like always, I'm going out there to put on a spectacular performance and give the fans a, a proper fight. And definitely walking away with either a fight of the night, but most likely a performance of the night and stepping into that top five of the division.